Hello, and thank you for your interest. This presentation will outline the Lens of Position Servo product offering, discuss its capabilities and features, and provide training in its basic configuration and programming. The Position Servo is a fully programmable, high-performance servo drive with low cost of ownership, low opportunity cost, and extremely high value. The drive can function in three fundamental operating modes, torque, velocity, and positioning. The Position Servo is a high-performance servo drive which provides sinusoidal commutation. The drive is fully programmable, giving it the ability to be used in either a centralized or a decentralized control architecture. Models are available for either encoder or resolver feedback for a wide range of power options. The Position Servo offers popular industrial communication options, so you are not limited to any particular controls vendor. The drive can be used in torque control, velocity control, electronic gearing, and programmable motion control applications. The drive is capable of registration and features 11 programmable digital inputs, 4 programmable digital outputs, 2 analog inputs, and 1 analog output. The drive is programmed in a basic-like language which supports fault monitoring and deterministic event handling. These features allow the position servo to be the best value solution for a wide variety of applications. Power ranges for the two 30 volt models are from 2 to 18 amps. Two voltage doubler models are also offered, 2 amp and 4 amp. These units can be fed with single phase 115 volts AC and will internally double their supply voltage so they can be used with 230 volt AC standard servo motors without loss of their rated speed. While the standard 230 volt units can be supplied with 115 volts AC, 230 volt motors utilized with those models in that configuration will lose speed capacity per the motor's KE factor. 400 480 volt AC models are also offered from 2 to 9 amps. All position servo drive models feature a 300% peak current capacity at a 50% duty cycle for a 2 second bandwidth. This means the drive is capable of providing 300% peak current for 2 out of every 4 seconds of time enabled. These next few slides will discuss the position servo model numbering code. All position servo drive models begin with the E94 prefix. The fourth character in the model number is either a P for the encoder-based 940 or an R for the resolver-based 941. The 940 and 941 are both position servo drives. The difference is only that the 940 E94P uses encoder feedback from the servo motor with a DB15 connector, whereas the 941 E94R uses resolver feedback from a DB9 connector. An explanation of these terms and their features will be discussed in detail in the following slides. The fifth, sixth, and seventh characters in the drive model number are the continuous amperage rating of the drive in tenths of an amp. For example, 020 would indicate 2.0 amps continuous current rating. The eighth character in the part number string describes a drive's input phase requirement, and S indicates a drive can only operate on single phase input power. A Y indicates the drive can operate on either single or three phase power. A T indicates that three phase input power is required to operate the drive. The ninth character in the part number string indicates the nominal drive input power rating. A 1 denotes the drive is a 120 volt AC doubler model. A 2 indicates the drive is a 200, 240 volt AC model. A 4 indicates the drive's input voltage rating is 400, 480 volts AC. The Position Servo product line offers most 200, 240 volt AC models in two variants, those with an integrated line filter and those without an integrated line filter. The tenth character in the character string is either an N for all position servo models that do not have an integrated line filter, or it is an F for the models that do have an integrated line filter. It is important to note the 200 240 volt AC position servo drives with the integrated line filters only support single phase input power. Users requiring three phase input power and EMC filters will need to use the standard drive offering and purchase an optional three phase line filter. The 11th character is either an E for the encoder-based 940 drive, or it is an R for the resolver-based 941 drive. The final character in the position servo part number string indicates if the drive is a standard 